hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are diving into canopy the all-in-one tax accounting management software that's changing the game for cpas bookkeepers and tax pros everywhere so whether you're brand new to canopy or looking to level up your workflow we will walk you everything from setting up clients to streamlining your tasks and staying audit ready like a boss let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is visit the official website which is gonna be canopy or getcanopy.com on the top corner you have multiple op options you can log in using your credentials take a tour get a demo but the best thing or the best option at this moment is gonna be taking advantage of the free 15 day trial all you have to do is very simple provide all the information needed here click the get started you will be forwarded to a new page and then click the activate my account and then at this point all you have to do is very simple but it's very important you need to follow the on-screen instructions all right or click the skip setup all right because this is a perfect opportunity for us to explore the platform itself okay so now you will be forwarded to the welcome page and then now let's explore the main dashboard and as you can see that canopy is a cloud-based tax practice management software designed specifically for tax professionals accountants and cpas to help streamline the workflow and client management so basically it's not just for accounting tasks it's more like a full-on practice management suite for firms now i want you to hover to the left hand panel of your dashboard because these gives you all the tools and features number one is going to be the inbox this is basically your central hub for communications it contains messages emails tasks or notes sent between your teams and clients so if you click the add email account you need to select a provider gmail or google apps microsoft exchange for outlook or microsoft 365 but if you have other providers not listed here like for example hotmail msn outlook comcast imap you need to follow with the on-screen instructions all right now the next is going to be the client it's your crm or client relationship management section so it stores detailed information about each client including contact info associated tasks files communication history and billing records you can tag filter and organize clients for better workflow management now you see you have the client list right here okay so and then if you wanted to add so you have active clients business individual and prospect so if you want to add a client just click this small button here you can choose from a client type is it going to be individual or business so for this uh, instance we're going to use individual we're going to use the client name for client name so you have your client owner if you want external id and additional information and click the create and close so we have created our first create a new contact so let's put that in a contact click on save here so we have created our first client and our first contact here now having said all of that we can go here in the contact list similar to the client you can add a new contact we have done that clients group if you want you can create a client group save the client group here and then for going back to the client you have the client dashboard now loading times may vary depending on your internet connection so make sure that you are connected to a stable active internet or if you're not using a vpn that could interfere with your connection so the three dots icon here represents the present and the schedule if you want to create schedules you can do that you can create a schedule name 
since every week you have the select attachment type is it going to be a pdf csv or xls all right click the create button and we have done that so we're going to over to the file section it's basically a document management system for uploading storing and sharing files so here you can share files with your clients or team members securely for example for client files here you can use all these all right internal files if you want to add say for example this one you can drag and drop here or select by clicking so we have added our first um file here that's for internal files your files recently viewed now for the work section this is where you manage all your tasks projects and workflows so you can help track uh, task status if you go to the task list. So since we don't have any task yet, let's create a task or add a task. So for the uh, this one. Create and manage. You also have the option to add work. Now, it supports creating you reusable workflows or automations for recurring work. And you can set the priority to uh, medium, low, and urgent. All right. And then you can also edit that. Here and this section refers to the archiving task, but we're not going to do that. Instead, we're focusing on the time. Now, it tracks time entries for you or your team. That means it's this is going to be useful for billing productivity analysis and ensuring accurate time logging on tasks or projects you can manually log time or use timers so if you want to start timer you can do that or you can add time entry all right so this one right here and click on the save button now clients can pay online depending on your payment setup and you can track outstanding balances here all right there's going to be a three, uh, three dots. You can export filtered list or archive time. Now for the billing section, it handles invoices, payments, and payment tracking. So if you go to the dashboard, you would notice that you can generate invoices here based on time entries or flat fees. Not only that, if you go to the invoice section, again, clients now can pay online depending on your payment setup. All right. So you can create invoice right here. You have a single invoice is it going to be a recurring invoice or bulk invoice for a single invoice go here select a service and add a description okay search for your client add a description preview if you want and then after previewing that you have the option to create and save create and download print of course and that if you do you will be forwarded to a new page all you have to do is provide the email address you can also include the personalized email message here click the send all right for example test at test email.com and click the save button all right so we're gonna skip this instead we're gonna go to the templates now for templates you can create your reusable task templates right here these are going to be some of the canopy templates 1040 return 1041 1065 1099 if you want to create your template you can go back here all right and then click save so we have now our first template created here in canopy now by doing so you can save time by letting you standardize recurring tasks like tax prep, bookkeeping, or onboarding. And last is going to be the insights. So insights is your main dashboard or reporting tool, providing analytics on team performance, billing, task progress, and client data. With this, you have an option for creating answers. Okay. Answers and live boards, helping you make informed decisions based on real-time data. Now, if you feel that Canopy is going to be the best platform for you, you might want to go again to the main homepage. Because for one, if you go to the pricing section, you would notice that the standard is recommended for small firms. It starts at 150 for document management, $36 per user per month, workflow is 32 time and billing is around 22 Now, if you go to the pro section, it changes a lot. And again, you can get your own code here by clicking on this small button. 
all right and basically that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching guys we will see you again in the next one